to my channel. My name is Shaughnessy. If this is the first time you guys have stumbled upon this video or any of my videos, I'm so excited for this video because I am just like so ready to tell you guys about this perfume. I have done a ton of perfume videos and I will link those below if you guys want to check those out for yourself. But this one is one that is just so subtle, so beautiful that I know that you guys are going to love it. Um, I feel like whenever I first started doing perfume videos, it was mostly floral. So I feel like I'm kind of going back to my roots. So I'm really excited. So check out my Instagram if you guys want to see how I use this just on a day to day basis. Um, if you want to see it on my feed because it's so stunning. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to show you guys what I think about this perfume. So yeah, let's just get into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So my first thoughts upon just opening this package were literally pure excitement. I actually ended up purchasing this perfume because I listened to a perfume video on someone else's channel and it just seemed like a perfume I wanted to add into my collection. Um, like I said, I do have a decent sized collection, but this year I really made it a goal for myself to get one perfume a month, which I feel is a pretty lofty goal if you don't have like a ton of perfumes that you just like know that you for sure want to get. So I'm really excited to show you guys this one. The packaging is amazing. Um, I think that having a little bear is just so cute. And um, when you first spray it, I just think it has such a great scent. The unboxing was actually really neat as well. Um, I will put the video here. It was from Instagram um, where I did the unboxing on my stories. Um, and you guys can see things more in real time there. But let me tell you guys just all about the scent, what I think about the fragrance, and then we'll kind of get into just like the nitty gritty details of like scent notes. Um, my thoughts I'll spray it on myself and give you guys my like first thoughts just in real time so I grabbed my phone because I wanted to kind of show you guys like all of the really good details from their website and kind of talk through them um, I purchased this through Sephora which is where I get all my perfumes because I usually buy in bulk I actually bought this perfume at the same time um, as purchasing the by the fireside um, replica perfume um, i'll leave that review below if you guys want to check that out but this one is a great perfume for a really affordable price this is less than a hundred dollars which i honestly don't think that you find very often with perfumes um, and they even have smaller sizes that are um around like 76 dollars 56 dollars and you're still getting like a good size amount not like a tester tube um this one i think was in the mid-size range which was 76 i think but they also have a little bit larger of a size um and you'll get um a little bit more like ounces for 96 dollars so um i really think that this is a great affordable price um it's a really great option if you're looking for something that smells good is really strong and long lasting but it's not too expensive the scent notes are fresh floral uh, or that's the scent type and the key notes are mandarin orange peony and ambery woods um, the fragrance description says that it's sparkling radiant fragrance it features notes of mandarin orange and granny smith apple combined with delicate floral notes so I love this because it's so unique um, and let me try to spray it on just so you guys can um, I can talk you through the scent notes and see um, I can tell you what I think it smells like the most so I'm gonna roll up my sleeve and take the little um, bare head off <laughs> initially in the bottle you can already smell like the apple um, which I really like Rub this together Oh, it smells so amazing. Um, you can definitely smell the apple. I typically do not like fragrances that are um, too like orange or mandarin. That's just not using my vibe. I um, feel like citrus sometimes can be a little too much, but this does not smell super citrusy at all. It's very light, very floral. Um, but within that, I feel like you can smell the apple and the peony the most. And then the mandarin kind of comes up towards like the end um just like faint notes of that so if you're not someone who really likes citrus scents i feel like you still really like this one um just because it's a very small hint of the mandarin but it's definitely a lot stronger with the like granny apple and the peony fragrance oh my gosh it smells amazing <laughs> um so let me get into where i would wear this fragrance and 
like when I think you should buy it, what time of the year, and you guys can kind of determine for yourself if it's something you would want to pick up for your own collection. This fragrance is honestly unique, which is why I think I love it so much, but I feel like this is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. Um, the spring and summer and like fall. I don't know if I'd necessarily, necessarily wear this into in the winter time. Um, I feel like it's not super heavy, it's very light. Um, and I don't think that this would be something that I would typically wear at night. I find myself gravitating towards this during the daytime, um, whenever I'm just wanting to wear something day to day, which is great because it's such an affordable price. So if for any reason you wanted to wear this every single day, it would be um, a great fragrance. And then you could always refill really easily. Whereas with some other perfumes, I feel like if I wore it every single day, my bank account would literally be crying. Um, so I really like this fragrance. It's just so light and I feel like the unique fragrance of like the apple is something that people um, will notice right off the bat. It's not incredibly strong and so, um, but it is long lasting. I've had this for about a month I think um, and I put it on and I can wear it and smell it throughout the day and I don't have to like spray a ton. Literally just one spray like I did just now is perfectly fine but it's not super strong. So if you're walking through a store, it's not going to be one of those fragrances that like hits you in the face. Um, it'll be something that you'll smell and then you'll maybe walk away and then you'll be like, what was that? That smells so good. Or if someone like gives you a hug um, and they get really close to you and then they kind of walk away, they might think, what was that smell? Like that smells amazing. Um, so it's very light and I love that. I feel like whenever I'm in a large group of women um, and there's so many fragrances, like if I go to dinner or if I just do something with friends, I typically like to wear things like this, um, maybe to brunch, not necessarily di dinner. Um, but I feel like I would want to wear something like this because it wouldn't be super overbearing. So if I'm sitting at a table with like tons of fragrances and hair smells and perfumes and <laughs> smells of lip gloss, like this would be exactly what I would want to wear um, in a space just like that. So to end this video, you're probably wondering, should I per purchase this perfume? I feel like whenever I watch videos about perfumes, that's literally the question I always ask, do I want to purchase this? And I would say absolutely 110% yes. I will say, if you are not someone who typically likes to wear floral fragrances, then this one might not be for you. I love floral, I also love woodsy scents, um, I love them for different times of day and different seasons, but this fragrance in particular is very light, very airy, you can definitely get the peony out of it and you can also definitely get like that granny apple, um, like ambery smell as well, but not heavy like it's very very light um, and then you can get like a hint of the mandarin but I think that it's just so subtle that you can almost miss it a little bit which I like so um, keep that in mind if that's something you're thinking about when you are adding this to your cart really think about whether you're a floral person or not so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I of course will be doing more perfume videos in the future I feel like these are really good because I love watching these types of videos to see if I can like add something new into my fra fragrance collection. Um, I think growing your collection is so important because they last for so long, um, but also you're not going to have the same tired fragrance like over and over again on your body. Um, you'll smell different. So I really love adding fragrances to my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below your favorite fragrance because I'm actually looking to get another fragrance. I want to really get 12 new fragrances this year. Um, I already have two, so I think that's a really good start. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> Bye guys.